to the velocity as you know it is given by distance by time distance by time now for example there is on vehicle moving in this direction with 100 kilometers per hour this is the velocity so this means it is moving in 1 hour 100 kilometers Let us say there is another vehicle which is moving in this direction with forty kilometers per hour. Forty kilometers per hour. Then I will say, let us say this is A vehicle, this is B vehicle. Now relative velocity of A with respect to B. Is equal to hundred minus forty. That is sixty kilometers. This is relative velocity. So velocity of this with respect to this. Velocity of this with respect to this. If I write velocity of B with respect to A. This is relative velocity for B with respect to B. I have to write forty minus hundred. That is minus sixty kilometers per hour. Now, direction of this vehicle and direction of this vehicle. Let us. This is also in this direction. This is opposite. This direction. This direction. Then I will say. B A B will be equal to hundred plus forty, one forty kilometers. This is the relative velocity of A with respect to B. Similar relative velocity of B with respect to A will also be same hundred kilometers. Now, this is the, this is the relative velocity. Now, if I say, now frame of reference. If we, if I measure the velocity of this, how do I measure? I will take frame of reference like this: x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. This is the origin, and this frame of reference. So this is on the earth. This is on the earth. Now here we assume that is at rest when you are measuring velocity of one particular vehicle. I will take this reference point. This reference point, reference frame will be on the earth. Earth is taken at rest. So earth velocity is zero. This velocity is hundred. Then if I say what is the velocity of A with respect to this, means hundred minus zero. That is hundred. That means even when I say velocity of a particular bus means it is also relative to something else. In this case, it is a. If a car is moving on the earth, if I say its velocity is twenty kilometers per hour, it means it is moving on the earth relative to the rest position of the earth. Earth's velocity is zero, and with respect to that, it is twenty kilometers per hour. This is as long as things moving on the earth are concerned. This is known as frame of reference. Now we'll be talking about other frames of references. Inertial frame of reference. Inertial frame of reference here, as long as you you don't consider the movement of the earth around the sun with certain velocity, 
or with certain acceleration, if you don't consider that, if you neglect that part, then that can be considered as inertial frame of reference. This is one example. Second example, if there is a train moving with constant velocity, for example, the train starts from Mysore, it keeps moving in the direction of Bangalore with a constant velocity. For example, velocity is always 80 km per hour. Most idealistic condition. Actually, it will not constant, it, it cannot keep 80 km per hour constant from here to Bangalore. It, it keeps changing. But if you if there is a train moving with constant velocity, in the train, if you have got a if you are sitting there, your frame of reference will be inertial frame of reference. If there are two boys playing in that train, if you want to measure certain things connected to them like velocity or something else, your frame of reference will be inertial frame of reference because you are sitting in a train which is moving with constant velocity. Suppose a train is moving with acceleration. In fact, there's the actual thing. From Mysore to Bangalore, train all, train first will go, it starts with some 10 kilometers per hour, then it will pick up 20, 30, 40, 50, like that, it, its velocity is changing. That means it is accelerated. Now, if you are sitting in a train, and if you have got a reference frame, then that is known as non-inertial frame of reference. Because train is getting accelerated, so your, your thing is non-inertial frame of reference, that is also known as accelerated frame of reference. That is the second example. Third example of accelerated frame of reference is anything which is moving in a circular part. For example, I have something like this. There is a pendulum which is set into circular part. It's moving like this. With a constant velocity, it's moving with constant velocity, but it is in a circular form. At every point in its path of the circle, its velocity keeps changing because direction changes, so it becomes a vector quantity, the velocity changes, and hence it has got acceleration. So, on this, if you have got reference frame, on this, if you have got a reference frame on that edge, on that circular path, it will be accelerated frame of reference. So, we'll be talking about this. We'll be using these concepts in my next video where I'll be talking about Michelson Morley experiment and its negative results and further how the special theory of relativity can be introduced at that stage. I'll be talking about that. Thank you.